Hello friends. Did you know that some plants can live for thousands of years? Yes, you heard that right. One such plant is the incredible bristle cone pine. It is considered one of the oldest living plants on our planet. Imagine, it has seen generations come and go, standing tall through centuries of change. But how does this tree reach such a remarkable age? Well, just like all other plants, it all begins with a seed. Today, we're going to explore the life cycle of a plant step by step, starting from a tiny seed to a fully grown plant, just like the bristle cone pine. So, are you ready to explore the stages of a plant's life? Let's get started. To make things simpler, we will use the bean plant as our example. It is easy to grow and a perfect model for understanding how plants develop from tiny seed into a full grown plant. The life cycle of a bean plant begins with the seed, which is the stage one. Look at this seed. It might look small and lifeless, but don't get confused. This seed houses everything a plant needs to start growing. When the seed is placed in moist soil and gets the right amount of warmth, it begins to change. The second stage is called germination. Now during germination, the seed absorbs water and swells up, causing its outer shell to break open. Tiny roots emerge from the seed, anchoring the plant to the soil. Then comes the shoot, which eventually grows upward and reaches out for sunlight and air. Now, as the shoot pushes its way out of the soil, small leaves begin to grow from the shoot, signifying that the plant has entered stage 3. And here you can see a young plant taking shape. This young plant is now called a seedling. The seedling uses sunlight, air and water to make its food through a process called photosynthesis, which helps it grow stronger and taller. The bean plant continues to grow. It enters the next stage in its life cycle. The plant becomes mature and starts producing flowers in the fourth stage. The flowers on the bean plant contain both male and female parts, which work together to produce seeds in stage 5 through pollination. Hence, we can say flowers are crucial for making seeds. Finally, after fertilization, the flowers of the bean plant turn into bean pods. If you take a look inside the pods, you can see new seeds. It is these seeds that grow and form the next generation of bean plants. Once the seeds are mature, the pods dry up and the seeds are ready to be planted, starting the life cycle all over again. So friends, the journey from a seed to a plant and then to the seeds of the next generation is called the life cycle of a plant. Isn't the journey of a plant amazing? See you next time. Happy learning.